Namaskaram. After many years uh, of this spot, it's the first time I think I'm this late on uh, sending something for you. Well, uh, this big week has been impossibly busy and uh, just got back to Triple I or the Tennessee ashram. Many things have been happening, particularly the Philadelphia program. It looks like uh, most cities don't have halls that are big enough to hold our events because there's a huge upsurge of uh, longing to know and spiritual thirst all over. The engineering programs are overflowing. It's wonderful to see that the young people are taking to this a non-religious, non-denominational way of approaching the inner well-being is catching up and a uh, lot of prominent people are also getting very interested and participating in the events. Apart from that, uh, I have not been able to actively follow the news in India, but a few things have been in my attention and also here certain situations, political situations I mean. When you look at things that have happened in the last one, one and a half years, there are some very disturbing trends happening around the world about how uh, the democratic process could be um, subverted, democratic process could be used in different ways and how it is being corrupted, the fundamental democratic process which is of deep concern because we must understand that democracy as an active process, one of the key elements of democracy is that change of power happens without blood flowing on the street. This is not a small thing. This is a huge development in the very human civilization on this planet that one person relinquishes power and hands it over to another through a democratic process that is not by fighting, not by killing, but by people's will. But disturbing trends in India, this has been happening everywhere but it's becoming beyond acceptable limits that democratic process can be subverted. As you know, analytics companies are getting involved to give insights into how it is all just a question of arithmetic. No policy, no ideology, no vision, just a question of handling the demographic arithmetic of a particular region. In this context, I think India is taking a low. Uh, I see disturbing videos of uh, making up of fake uh, IDs in large scale. People are distributing money in bananas, taking away the fruit and putting money inside the peel and this is what criminals, smugglers did to get something across. If political leadership is getting into this kind of business, I know everybody wants to win the election, I understand that. Well, there is a fierce fight, that is also fine. But this is criminalization of democratic process itself. If this becomes widespread, there will be no democracy. We will be bought and sold. It's very important that the people of India, please stand up and make sure that those who indulge in these kind of things should not only not win the election, they must be punished because this is crime. Well, across the world, people are complaining about the democratic systems being subverted. In United States, a whole lot of people are crying foul. In uh, Brexit, uh, old, a lot of people are saying it was unfair the way it was done. It is very, very important that common people retain their faith in the democratic process. If that goes away, we will go back to the days of bloodletting once again. So, it's my sincere request to every political party and the citizens, wherever you are, particularly right now in India, that you ensure that you don't become a part of this corrupting of democratic process because we are giving away the greatest privilege that we have in our hands by doing this. If we allow democratic process to become criminalized, absolutely, we are giving away the greatest privilege that the common people ever had 
please every one of you take this as your responsibility right express your opinion and make it clear if necessary file complaints do whatever you have to do it doesn't matter which party which leader if they're indulging in criminalizing democratic process we must act because this is the privilege of the common people heartfelt request to all of you that democracy is not a spectator sport we need to participate not just by voting if things are being done wrong it needs to be recorded it needs to be reported it needs to go to the right authorities so that action is taken about this let's not give up our basic and fundamental and fantastic privilege that we can choose who rules our states or our nations across the world let's make this happen thank you very much